I've seen this question in the Lifter LMS community a bit, so I thought I'd make a video on it, how to remove elements from the Lifter LMS quiz page. So this quiz page is not very customizable um, with like a page builder or anything, and there's not like a, um, a quick editor for changing things on here if you wanted to remove this return to lesson link or something like that, or this section right here. Um, it's not as easy to edit, so in this video I'll show you how you can edit anything on these pages that are a little bit tough to edit. So I have a sample quiz here I created, just um, a simple multiple choice quiz. And I see the question a lot about removing things from the um, end page here, the end screen on a quiz. This um, Maybe you wanted to remove this uh, circle right here that says your percentage. Uh, maybe you wanted to hide these questions or something like that so there's no uh, question results showing up. If you have a whole lot of questions, that might be a problem, so maybe you'd want to hide it. So what you're going to want to do is open the customizer. I'll just open this in a new tab and then go to additional CSS at the bottom of that. And depending on your theme, it might be called something else, but most themes have this CSS option down here, uh, whatever it may be called. I'm working with Cadence WP at the moment, uh, but each theme will have some sort of CSS in the customizer here. And so I want to remove, maybe I have hundreds of questions or something like that. So I want to remove this whole widget that will display all of my questions. And it's not really a problem because I have one, but if you have a whole lot of questions, it'll become a problem. So I want to remove this um, whole section here. So pretty much by right clicking on this section and then clicking inspect, I'm going to get this section on the right with a whole lot of crazy code. And so I can highlight, hover over here and highlight what I want to remove. I just want to probably remove this right here, this section.quizResultsMain or section.llmsquizResultsMain is what um, it's showing me on the left side is what this area is called. So what I want to do is I could just type out section.llms-quiz-results, uh, but I'm just going to do a little shortcut so I don't have to type it all out. I'm going to double click right there on the class, and then it'll select it for me so I can just copy and paste a lot easier. So I need to remember it's section. Uh, so I'm gonna type out section dot, and then I'm just gonna paste in. You could just type it out if you wanted to, but just a little bit of shortcut there. And then I'm going to click the curly brackets on my keyboard here and then click return. And then I'm just gonna type display none. So display colon none and then a semicolon at the end of the line, and that's it. So now you can see my uh, results area there is gone. This um, questions I answered area is just gone. So this display none trick you can use on any pages that are hard to edit, or if you wanted to edit anything, um, it's super easy to use. If I just, maybe I also wanna remove this right here, this um, wheel, I just need to select what I want to hide, hover over until it shows me what I wanna see. Um, maybe I want this um, div LLMS dash donut is what this is called. So let me just go into my customizer div dot LLMS dash donut. And then just the same curly brackets display none. And now the donut there is gone if I don't want that displaying. So that's really all you have to do in order to remove some of these specific elements. Just use the inspector in Google Chrome to identify the element and then just display none and it'll go away. So yeah, this has been Will Middleton from WPCourseGuide.com. Be sure to leave in the comments below what videos you want to see about Lifter LMS, WordPress, or associated tools. And yeah, be sure to um, leave a like on the video and I'll see you in the next one.